I'm Eugene with Diacon. I'm out at the Preston, Idaho airport and wanted to explain some of the improvements that have been introduced into the rain gauges we offer with our weather stations. The original rain gauge we shipped with our weather stations was the RGTB6. It's been an exceptional performer, has a 20 centimeter orifice, has key slots for the screws so when you take off the top you don't have any loose items. We have a bullseye level inside, a chrome plated tipping bucket, ported uh, discharge port so you can capture the rain to do measurements later. Hey, all in all, it's been an exceptional rain gauge. It has been free from any field anomalies or problems such as insect intrusion. The newer version of the RGTB6 is, has an identical top. Still retains the debris screen which just pushes out and uh, can be easily cleaned in the field without tools. But the main changes have been made with the base. You'll notice there's a, an increased height of the protective wall around the tipping bucket. We have a a uh, Teflon impregnated tipping bucket instead of chrome plated. They are currently using sapphire pivots, which is a significant improvement. Bullseye level is still in place. They've moved to an injection over molded reed switch assembly. All in all, exceptional improvements, very good design changes by HiQuest Solutions. The latest rain gauge to be released and featured on the Diacon website is the RGTB7. The rain gauge is identical to the 6. The base is identical mechanism, but the top is injection molded ASA. The advantages this offers is a lower cost, lower price point, and uh, they have created integrated bird guard or spikes. These are removable spikes that can be replaced in the field without tools, without any problems. Uses the same debris screen on the inside of the rain gauge, the same keyhole slots for removing the rain gauge from the base, the same venting system. And the only difference between the two rain gauges is this one is bolt calibrated to 5% accuracy. This one is individually calibrated for about 2% accuracy, depending on the rain rate. Other than that, if someone wanted to buy a TB7, had the desire and need to calibrate it to a higher level, that's certainly possible. But generally, spatial variation over a given area is going to create much more uncertainty than higher accuracy in a single point. Look for the TB7 and the TB6 on our websites, and uh, we'd like to hear from you. Thank you.